Hello, my name is Leland Melvin. I'm an astronaut and a STEAM explorer, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So on this mission, this is the first time that um, you know a U.S. astronaut will be living on the space station for um, about a year, and it's an incredible, incredible feat. Scott Kelly and Mikkel are going to be up there for a year, looking at you know the science of how does the body withstand this long duration space flight. And as we think about sending human beings to Mars one day, that's going to be an over two year period of time. You know you have to go through eight months of travel uh, to Mars. You have to look at you know things like solar radiation, how that would affect the body, how do you shield the body from solar radiation. So you know usually when you go to the space station, 30 percent of the time is devoted to science experiments. About 40% of the time is physical exercise, so that's um, resistive exercise, that's cardiovascular, we have a treadmill, we have a bicycle, and we have a, a, a thing that lets you do bench press and squats and different things, it's called a red resistive exercise device. And then about 30% of the time is spent fixing hardware and breakdown, so kind of troubleshooting and make sure that everything is still intact so that you can you know, keep everything up on the station. Um, you know, there are 52 computers, there are 3.3 million lines of code, 8 miles of wiring, so all these things have to be looked at and taken care of, and over about an acre of solar panels to give us our, our electricity. But the daily schedule for this, this crew is going to be a little bit different. Uh, they're going to be doing a battery of about 10 medical experiments. And these are all things to get you ready for, you know, longer duration on Mars. So, you know, psychological testing, I mean, being spending a, a year in space, you're in the size of a, about a four-story home or the volume of a 747 airplane, which is a lot. But, you know, you're confined to that for most of your stay there. Granted, you can do spacewalks and get out and look around, but you really want to get back in after about seven hours because it's, uh, that's all the air you have in your, in your helmet. Um, flight surgeons will run studies on the cardiovascular efficiency, uh, blood studies, oxygen levels, blood volume. Um, they will also do like bone density. And while they're doing these tests, we have an exact clone of Mark on, on of Scott on the ground and his brother Mark Kelly. They're identical twins. They have the both, you know, the same DNA. So as we're looking at Scott on orbit we can use, you know, Mark as a baseline on the ground to see if, you know, if something is like cellular aging and fluid shifts in the body, how that changes on orbit, how that would actually be on the ground. We'll do sonograms on the eyes and optic nerves because some astronauts, when they've been in space, they have um, changes in their in their their eyes and their vision changes. They have to actually put put glasses on in space, even if they didn't wear glasses. So what would happen if you're going to be in space for two and a half years versus one year? And up to this point, U.S. astronauts have really only been in space for about six months at a time. So what happens, you know, seven months, eight months? So this year study will give us a chance to kind of trick out and see um, how we can predict what's going to happen down the road to Mars. Um, also, just looking at the body and the bacteria that it creates, um, you know, the bacteria in your stomach for digestion and, you know, I think they're going to have to do like a lot of urine studies and a lot of fecal uh, matter studies, both in space and on the ground. So Mark and Scott are going to be doing some very interesting stuff with their body waste. Um, and then also your brain, just psychologically, how do you how do you deal with you know being in a small compartment for one year at a time uh, with another person? And there'll be multiple people for Expedition 45 and 46 and so forth, but. Still, you're in this confined space. We've got movies, we've got books, we've got all these different things. But when I was in space, I was only there for a short duration. But I looked out of the window most of the time and took pictures because the planet is just extremely, extremely beautiful. And I remember my friend Ed Liu, who was in space for six months, he didn't take any books or movies because he said, you don't get a chance to look at the planet from this vantage point that often. So. You know, he didn't read anything. He just every spare moment he got, he looked out the window, and that was uh, that was pretty exciting. So that's kind of what uh, these guys are going to do in space for for a year. Mikhail and Scott are going to be busy, really checking out their body for you know muscle atrophy, bone loss, blood 
um, oxygenation, and uh, many different things. So that's their that's their one year stay.